I was crap, I was dirt, mud, all that good stuff, and that's the way I lived my life. As a young boy growing up in a small Indiana town, Tony Myers never felt anyone could love him, including God. He just wanted to throw lightning bolts if you even stepped one little bit out of line. Raised a Catholic, he tried to hold on to some belief that God cared until two of his friends were killed in a car accident. The only way I knew how to deal with it was through the anger and through cutting myself off and through not caring, because if there's a guy like that, I ain't serving him. Tony went on to serve eight years in the Army before taking a job as a welder. In all those years, he was still angry at God and the world and looking out for number one. I always looked at it like, you're out to get me, so I'm going to get you first. In my mind, I was the force. Then at 39 years old, he met Deb, a Christian who saw Tony much differently. There was something about her that I never experienced. And she always said she saw gold in me in spite of my actions. <laughs> I wanted what was best for her. And that was very unusual for me. But a woman's love alone wasn't enough to soften his calloused heart. That same year, Tony started having symptoms that came without warning. I would wake up and be deadly tired, could not keep my eyes open. I would end up eating like every other day or something like that. I didn't care. I mean, to me, I'm just going to barrel through it. For two years, Tony kept getting worse. I'd get weak, just all of a sudden get weak. My legs, my arms, just out of the blue. Still, he refused to see a doctor. It wasn't until a near fatal accident with a coworker in March 2009 that Tony decided he needed help. I'm holding this piece of steel, and all of a sudden, I could not hold it. It almost fell on his head. It was like, I can't risk another person's life. Tony went to several specialists, but none could find a cause. Eventually, he was forced to use a cane, and then he lost his job. I'd always been able to overcome everything on my own, and now I'm getting fired? That really hurt. And one night, he saw a preacher on television and made him think he might need Jesus after all. I mean, emotion hit me that I had never experienced. That's the moment I knew Jesus was real. But Tony still didn't believe Jesus could love him. Meanwhile, he and Deb married as he continued to deteriorate. Eventually, he was confined to a motorized wheelchair. I mean, I couldn't breathe. Speech was a huge problem, and it was around that time that my fingers were starting to crump up. Finally, after three years of testing, doctors concluded Tony had a fatal neurological disorder, most likely ALS. Oh my gosh. It's going to get worse than it already is. So, I mean, I was going through all all the gamut of emotions all the time between fear and anger. And at that point, I'm like, forget it. Just let me die. But on July 4th, 2012, Tony was thinking about something very different. It was an article he had read about Jesus's crucifixion. I saw Jesus at the whipping post being scourged. And just seeing chunks of flesh being ripped off. And in his eyes, there was a deep, a, a truly deep love that was unending. Jesus suffered far worse than I did and how much he had to love me then. And it was like, I knew because he loved me that much, he wanted me to be whole. 
my anger just evaporated. Back pain be gone. It just came out of my mouth. All the pain left. What in the world? Then I said, fingers move. And then my fingers are moving. And then that's when I said, Jesus, don't let me fall. And all of a sudden, my legs hit the floor. Is this really happening? Wow, my Lord, my master, my God, you did this for me. Today, Tony is still strong, pain-free, and eager to share how Jesus' love healed his body and his soul. The fact that the Lord loved me in spite of me totally being set against him, he loves you as you are right now. And he sees you as the most precious thing on the face of this earth.